I'm good. I'm good. Um, obviously, yesterday was disappointing. Um, like I said yesterday uh, in our press conference, uh, it's um, you can't turn the ball over the way we did and expect to win. You know, I thought our defense hung in there long and hard and fought. You know, I think um, there are some things that we, we will show up and get better at over there as well. I thought our sport special teams made some improvement from week one to week two. Uh, obviously, the turnovers were were a huge undoing, not just for our offense, but for our football team. I think any time you turn the ball over like that, I was surprised the score wasn't worse than what it was. So, again, I think uh, we'll grow from this. We'll learn from it. Uh, we played um, two of the better teams in our division. There's still one more to play. We get that. Um, we're 0-2. Uh, but this, the, the fill in the building, the fill with our football team is nothing like I felt a year ago. You know, I think our guys are – Excited about getting back to work as fast as we can. Know we have a big game in Indy this week. Um, we got some things to clean up. There's no question about that. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, Corey um, obviously um, broke his hand. Corey will have some time out. It's um, the same hand, different bone. Um, it's unfortunate. Uh, but those things happen. The guys work so hard. Um, getting ready for the season, but we know these things happen in football. You know, we just got a uh, the next man up mentality and move forward. Surgery. Yes, he will have surgery. When will that, be? that will be today. Matter of fact, might be happening. Don't know that timetable, but uh, uh, hopefully we'll get him back. We'll see how that all unfolds. I think until everything's done, will we know exactly which which direction to go that way. Right. Hey, next guy up. I mean, we got to go coach the guys that we have here. There's no uh, nothing else. There's nothing magical that's going to happen that way. I know Sashi and, and his team will do everything they can, to, you know, to see if there's somebody else that can help us. But I don't look at it that way. I think the guys that are on our football team got to step up and play. You know, just like we saw Rashard go out there and play extremely well yesterday and do some good things. And who's going to be the next guy that steps up, you know, and, and take the opportunity and make something happen. So that's what we have to do. It was I think he was getting better. There's no question about that, you know, and um, he was definitely uh, heading in the right direction. So it's unfortunate, you know, it's almost feels like I know to him the same time, different year, you know, around the same time, here comes the injury and it's unfortunate, but it's something we, we go through and we got to get through it. But I think what I remember last year, even you, you told us right at the time he'd be out like six weeks. Mm -hmm. that's well, I don't want to tell you that because we're talking about the surgeries involved. So, until we know, until I know exactly what that is, can I tell you for sure, you know, what that timetable will be? No, there was not. Specifically on Kenny Britt, uh, he hasn't been productive in numbers. He also, there are plays where, from our point of view, he doesn't turn around for the ball. It, it almost looks like he's not interested. What, what's going on with him? No, you just got to, again, we got to play better. I mean, we got to play better as an offensive unit. So, I mean, I know it's, we directed at one guy. I know your question was about Kenny. I think it's uh, we got to play better as an offensive unit, and that's the way I'm gonna leave it. You guys brought him in to be a major help this year, especially with the rookie quarterback. You paid him a lot of money. Um, it, aren't there? Isn't it fair to have expectations? Oh, I think that's I think that's fair. I think what you said is fair. But like I said, we got to play better as an offensive unit. <laughs> Am I pleased with his effort? Uh, again, uh, we got to play better as an offensive unit all the way around. You know, receiver, running back, everywhere. We got to play harder, and that's what we got to do as a as a football unit. With the timing of, of Corey, how nice was it for you at least to have Richard step up the way that he did and you know have have that kind of a game? No, it was good. I mean, I, I thought you know that he had the potential to do that. Uh, that's why we elevated him and you know gave Duke some more opportunities in the backfield. Uh, worked out. Duke made some plays in the slot as well, but Richard made quite a few. So, again, that was good. We got to continue to get guys to step up, make plays uh, for a football team. Do you know that you watched the tape uh, when you watched Deshaun? Do you think he was affected after he came back? Did that affect his performance? Oh, not at all. It, I had, it had nothing to do with that. Not, not, nothing to do with the migraine at all. Mm -mm. What were you visibly seeing that concerned you that you wanted to have him worked out? I'm sorry? Well, there was a there was a play that Deshaun I think knows extremely well where we send the motion, 
and the motion didn't happen. And then he ended up looking to, the, to a different side. So that, that hadn't been the way he responded. And so when he came off and I asked him about it, he wasn't very clear to me about what it was. So then I knew then that something wasn't happening. And he told me, he said, Coach, I, my head is kind of pounding. So I knew then that something wasn't right. So my grades in the past? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Our, our medical team says uh, we should hopefully be beyond it. We know it can happen, but uh, hopefully we're beyond this, this situation. I'm sorry? What makes you think you're beat? Well, I hope we are because normally when he's had them, he's had one episode of it and then it doesn't come back for about another six or seven months. I mean, that's kind of the way it's worked for him. You know, some people get them every two weeks. Some people get them every three months. It, it just comes in episodes that people deal with. He knows when his are, you know, it's been a five or six month window when those things have normally happened to him. Did he have to have any further tests today related to the migraine? No. Mm -mm. I think they, they conducted every test that they needed to yesterday. And, you know, again, along with the concussion test, and felt like he was exactly where he needed to be. You talked about yesterday how the, you know, the, the clock on, you know, getting for the play into the game, getting it called, getting to the line, getting everything set, and, mm -hmm. and all that. That process isn't where you like it to be or where you said it. No, it's not. My question is, um, you know, we see quarterbacks, they have the, the wrists. Mm -hmm. plays Wristband. On. Is that something maybe you might consider with Deshaun? No, I don't think we need it. It's that's not what it is. I don't. I don't think it's that. You know, I think it's uh, again, like you said, it's within our process. Uh, once the play comes in, making sure that we can give that to the whole unit, but the whole unit is in there. You know, we we play with a lot of different pieces yesterday, and I think sometimes that happened. We had some guys playing out of position. Guys weren't sure where to be. You know, a guy went down here, another guy went down there. So we had to work through that. You know, and I think that was the, the culprit more so than anything. Uh, but then we do still need, as a unit, to work faster and move faster. So we'll do that. The running backs had 14 carries uh -huh. uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. down from 20 against Pittsburgh. Absolutely. Is that, is that number conducive to winning in the NFL? Yes, it is, if that's what it takes to win. You know, if that's what gives you the best opportunity to win, when you're backed up because of penalties, you know, you're third and long or second and long, and you look up and the score is different, Sometimes that's the way games go, you know. Um, we will run the football. I know you always, all want to hear that, and how do you protect Deshaun and the interceptions and all that. Trust me, this is the National Football League. Our job is to win. It's not just run. It's not just throw. It's what it takes to win the game. We did what we felt it take to win the game. They give us a chance. It didn't work. That happens sometimes. It's easy to say, well, if you ran the ball, this would have been better. Well, you don't know that. You know, it all depends on how they play and who they put in the game. To, to handle what we're trying to do. Because when you play against that base personnel, now you have Pierce and Williams on the field at the same time. If you guys watch, those guys were standing on the sideline sometimes. That's an advantage to us, and that's why we do certain things. When you look at the interception to Duke and then the one in the end zone, um, obviously Deshaun said it was his accuracy problem on those two throws. Did you see something from a mechanic standpoint or fundamental standpoint that in either throw where you go, can we can get that fixed? Oh, yeah, no, these, all these things are fixable. I mean, guys, listen, this guy is a young quarterback, and I, I appreciate, and I have the same expectation that you do, that every ball that's open, that he'll throw it straight, and he'll hit every ball with pinpoint accuracy, and there'll be no issues. This is his second game in the National Football League. We just played the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and the Baltimore Ravens, and he didn't play as well yesterday. But the, sky, the, the sky's not falling down by any stretch of the imagination. This guy is everything I think he is. It's unfortunate that it happened the way it did yesterday. But I, I'm glad it happened now and then later, okay? Because this is where growth happens. It doesn't happen when you play pretty well and all you guys say, wow, Deshaun Kaiser's did some great things, you know, here we go. It happens when all of a sudden, guy's been humbled, okay? And that's why I say quarterbacks gotta start on their knees. They might as well, you're gonna bring them to your knees, so you might as well start off on your knees. So get down there. You know, and that's where he is today. And he'll grow from this. You know, I, it's unfortunate for our team. I don't want to lose any game because we're turning the ball over and we're not helping our football team. But at the same time, I, I anticipate that these things can happen to a young quarterback. I don't want him in four or five turnovers in a game. By n I, I never want to see that again. But at the same time, I know it can happen, and we're going to work through this with him. He's going to get better. He's going to work his tail off this week, and he's going to come out and play great this week. Mm -hmm. Hasn't 
Great. He is. He gets it. Taking responsibility for it, knows that he needs to continue to work harder and better, uh, understands in the National Football League that it is about accuracy, that you got to put the ball where you want to put it at all times, that, you know, the other team can't touch your ball. I mean, there's it, that's so important for our football team. I mean, our, our, our margin for error is not very big, and I think we get that. So uh, we got to be as close to perfect as we can be, and, uh, and it starts at that position. I'll be first to tell you that, and he knows that, and that's what we're going to work towards. You know, on the challenge yesterday, mm -hmm. did, did you see something or did somebody? Did yeah, there was a chance. Well, one, you know, when you go to the other team's stadium, they don't play that replay very fast, mm -hmm. you know. They hold it to the last minute, and they're going to get ready to put the ball down, so you got to make a judgment call. Either you're going, here's a time, at that time in the game, I go, hey, what do we got to lose here? If we're not sure about it. They're not going to play it. Let's take a shot at it. Corey was saying he caught it. It was way over there, away from everybody on the other side. We were trusting because Corey normally makes that catch, you know, and obviously it didn't, it didn't come up that way. So uh, we'll have some challenges every now and then that we have to make judgment calls based on uh, where we are because some teams will not play that replay uh, fast enough for us to see it. I'm not going to do that yet. Um, I think uh, obviously we're getting closer, but how close we are, I don't know that for sure. But um, I think we are getting closer to him having an opportunity to be back out there. Anything more this week? Or? I hope so. We'll we'll see where that is uh, by Wednesday. Yes, he is. Jamie's in concussion protocol. Explain the strategy of playing Pepper so deep. I know you don't want balls going over your head. Mm -hmm. but it seems like there's a lack of confidence in the cornerbacks by putting them so 30 yards deep all the time. It's not. It's a lack of confidence. No, that this is more about strategy, Tony. This is more about we discourage the opportunity for people to throw it over our head. If you don't want to get the ball over your head, thrown over your head, just make sure that there's somebody deep enough where they don't try to throw it over your head. True. So that, that's how that works. I mean, that's part of strategy uh, of our defense. So it's not about the corners or not having confidence in the corners. This is something that we truly believe discourages teams from trying to throw the ball over our head. And you have not seen a ball go over our head that way. And, uh, and I think that's a, a credit to the strategy that Greg and the defensive staff has put together that way. I don't feel that way. I think we're able to rally now. Sometimes they'll get in a hole. You'll feel like a combination route. They may, we may get off a guy a little bit sooner than what we should underneath. And it looks like, wow, if that guy was tighter, he would make the play sooner. I, I, I can see you guys saying that, but that's not why we feel that those things are happening.